I can see perfectly. It's the first blind bag of 2016, and it's not a blind bag, it's an egg. A Star Wars mystery egg. And I've even officially called it mystery egg, I haven't just got to call it that myself. And look, there's Lilo Ken in all his evil glory. Rrr, rrr. That was him being evil. There are six keychains to find. I'm presuming there are keychains inside these. Yes, character keychain inside. Well, they're not hard to bloody find, then, are they? You just look inside the eggs, which presumably you buy from the shop like I did. Um, this is from Tup of Toys, TPF standing for The Potato Factory. Normally they make potatoes, but today they're going to make us some toys instead. So yes, it's going to be a Force Awakens keyring by the looks of it. A little figural one, if it's a character one. I'm hoping for... Mm, Captain Phasma, because her armour is cool. Wasn't that a weird character, Captain Phasma? Because it was really built up as being, oh, she's really strong and cool and all that stuff in the uh, sort of build-up to the film. And then in the film, she's just kind of a useless administrative type who gives in really easily. And in fact, we never even see her fire a gun or do any sort of combat at all. She's just there getting everybody else to do it and telling them what to do. And it's odd, isn't it? If they hadn't built it up, as being such a character, I think it would have felt more natural. But I tell you what, actually, you know that scene where um, Finn is recognised by one of the stormtroopers? He goes, Traitor! and throws his gun away and then has some hand to hand gubbins going on. Doesn't it feel like that perhaps should have been Captain Phasma? Do you think that was Phasma in earlier scripts and was changed for some reason? Because her recognising him, shouting Traitor, and then wanting personal revenge is sort of more of a big character and leader thing, isn't it? As opposed to a random stormtrooper. Hmm. But I really like the way it came out because it gives personality to the normally faceless stormtroopers. And now let's stop talking about this and see if we can see what it is through the holes in the egg. Ooh, it might be, it might be Kylo Ren. I don't know. Hmm. This could be the world's worst salt shaker once it's uh, been done as well. It would be the world's worst. It holds in both bloody ends. You'd have to balance it like that. Right, let's open this thing up then. Should have brought a knife. Wait, I did! Dun, 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 dun. I just have to point out how distorted some of the writing is on this. Mm, distortion. Right, let us slice this thing like you would a real red egg with a Star Wars thing in. So no, let's not overthink that. Right, here we go. Which of the six characters who we don't know who they are will it be? Everybody guess a character. I'm going to guess, well, it looks fairly black, so actually I'm just going to guess Kylo Ren. There we go. And it is Boba Fett. What the fuck? What? Star Wars Mystery Egg? So they're not from The Force Awakens, they're from the old original trilogy. Well, you clearly marketed this as being bloody Force Awakens. It's got Kylo Ren, it's still got Kylo Ren on the bloody character sheet. Okay, so it could be Darth Vader, Chewbacca, Han Solo, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, or Yoda. Well, you wouldn't want the Yoda one, because it's not good almost no plastic in it. Um, well, they're shit, aren't they, is uh, my response to that. Like, really, really quite shit. It looks like it's been knocked together out of chalky sweets or something. It's got that kind of weird pastel hue to it. Uh, detailing is poor. Paint is poor. Very poor, actually. Um, it's not even you're not going to be able to stand up on its own. Oh, it's just going to have to lay on his back with his keychain thing. I imagine if you did use this as a key ring, it would probably fall off within about... I don't know, a very short period of time. 13 femtoseconds, there we are. In fact, I'm going to remove the uh, loop from the head here. Oh, I don't know, actually, it's getting there quite deep. Um, I think they know how crappy it is, because look, look how huge the screw is in his head. <laughs> Well, you did a good work on that one, lads, but uh, the actual things, and uh, this tiny little low-resolution photo is presumably to hide how shit they are, but yeah, that's absolute crap. Um, it looks more like it's been knocked together at a bloody, I don't know, Remigel or some other sort of indigestion relief thing, which probably doesn't exist anymore. Well, how are we going to uh, pass judgment on this, I wonder, as he quite obviously zooms in and gets the blowtorch ready? I think this was about two pounds as well. What a bloody ripoff. Bum, 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 bum. No disintegrations. Oh, sorry. This is a bit like uh, Vader's funeral from the end of Return of the Jedi, except it's Boba Fett and it's shit. Well, his knees are on fire, which you never know might be a plot point in an upcoming film. <laughs> Oh, 
Ugh, there's something genuinely unpleasant about that. It actually does look, kind of look like a charred corpse or something. Ugh. Well, there's some jolly imagery for you. Star Wars, everyone! <laughs>